Ladies and gentlemen and members of the jury, welcome back to Road Reality. If you're new here, I'm gonna be riding this street glide, but we've got not one, not two, not three, not four, but five GoPros that are gonna be hooked up to this thing. And the Sony ZV-1, which I'm recording this on, and this picture, which was taken on my Samsung Note 20. So we have seven cameras involved in today's production. This is crazy, let's go take a look. We're gonna talk some GoPro mounting tips and we're gonna talk recording and everything else in this video while we test out the remote and all the GoPros. So let's run through what we've got. Starting on my helmet, in the shade, that's a Hero 12 with the media mod and the max lens mod, recording at 4K 30. Moving around the bike, we have the Hero 8 shooting at 4K 30 in wide with a regular lens, no media mod. Up on the handlebars, we've got the Max, the GoPro Max, shooting at 5.6K, I think it is, 30 frames a second. And over on this side, we've got Double Trouble, the Hero 10 with the Max Lens Mod. And then the Hero 9 in uh, Max Lens Mod as well. And they're both shooting at 2.7K, 30. So the first tip I wanna share is with the Hero 12, obviously there's still an issue, at least as of this recording, which is, what is it, October 1st? And that is that when the remote turns the Hero 12 on, it doesn't connect. It turns it on and then the Hero 12 disconnects. Now you don't have that camera connected to the remote. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on all five cameras, then turn on the remote, make sure it paired, and we're gonna ride. Yeah, I'm pointing over here like you can see. There, now you can see. We're gonna ride Muncaster Road here. Yeah, Muncaster Proving Ground. It promises to be a good time, so stick around, enjoy. All right, we got all five cameras going. For sync purposes, we're gonna do a little bit of this. You can see there, five cameras recording, and then... I don't normally use a clap method, but I do use um, manual syncing most of the time. So red light there, that one's recording, the helmet camera's recording, two red lights there. Now I can be fairly sure that they're all recording. Let's go, baby. Yeah. So the reason for the Max, let's start up top. The reason for the Max being there is because I really liked it in the last time I used it. And we need a coffee break already. Going around the corner drinking coffee. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. There, we got that out of the way. It's a standard road reality trope now. But I wanted the Max there because I like the view from it and I can do this. And you can see around this corner as we go. Also, I have the Hero 8 down low. Hello, I don't know if you can see my hand in frame there. But the Hero 8 is pretty much even with the, uh, with the engine guard there. Or not engine guard, saddlebag guard, excuse me. So it's mostly level with that, so I shouldn't scrape it against the ground. And the Hero 9, I, I just wanted to try it somewhere else, and I ran out of other mounts to use. So it is what it is, and it rotates a little bit, so I'm not too happy with that. But again, I don't really plan to go riding with this many cameras all the time. <laughs> this is like a one and done. And lastly, the Hero 10, second to last. It's over there where it should be pretty cool to see the forward view. And I remembered to take all the Max lens mod lens covers off, so yay for me. Now, the last one is the Hero 12, which is up on the helmet because it's the latest and greatest from GoPro, and that's where it lives now. Whoa, it's walnut season here in the mid-Atlantic. Ah, oh, that was cool. This is so cool. I love it. And I'm checking. I like that I have three cameras in view, four if I tilt my head that way, and five if I look down at the eight. Can you see me now? Yay, hi. I don't really know what's going on. As usual, I come out with very little planning. It took me about 20 minutes to put the cameras on the bike and the helmet and everything. The helmet obviously was very easy, but the rest of them, it took a little bit of time to find some good mount spots for it. You know, I don't want too many other cameras in view of too many other cameras. So, this is what we have. <laughs> now, let's move on to another road. Oh man, these videos are a ton of fun to record, but I'll be damned if they're not difficult as all get out to edit. <laughs> I'm trying to make my life easier here. And part of that is stopping and doing the horn honk before I start riding again. That's gonna make the sinking so much faster. I'm also gonna try to not overly record things 
so I don't have too much footage to call through because when you're streaming like five streams at a time through your, your uh, computer, it can be rather taxing on it. But I thought that this little traffic circle would be fun to go around in uh, five different camera views. So we're gonna go all the way around it. <laughs> One and a half times, We Nice and slow, nice and easy. Get a feel for how everything looks in the sun and the shade. Yes, we're idiots. <laughs> I'm an idiot, you're not an idiot. You're smart for watching Road Reality. Do the liking and the subscribing thing now, all right? I think I earned it on this one. Hell, this video cost me like $4,000 to make. I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but it was, you know, five GoPros at 400 bucks a pop is two grand right there. And then you add in all the mounts and accessories and SD cards, you're at about 2,500. Add in the uh, add in the Sony, and that's another, what I got, 800 bucks in that. So you're at 3,300 bucks right there. That's a lot of coin. If you add in a portion of my phone, since I also used it, there's your four grand. <laughs> The most expensive video I ever made. Hey, that make a good, like, thumbnail text. <laughs> ah, good times. Skip. Ah, Griffith Road. And the corn looks almost ready to harvest. I do believe this is cattle corn because they're letting it dry on the stalk and then they'll harvest it. Cattle corn is very hard, very crunchy. It's how they grind it down and make feed for cows. Little known farming fact for you. Yeah, good times here on Road Reality. But I mentioned earlier that the cameras are recording in certain frame rates and resolutions. A little bit of clarification on that. The Max, the 9, and the 8 are all running in GoPro flat, so I can color grade them. I'm going to try the LUT that comes with the Hero 12. I think it's going to look fairly good. I might have to tweak it a little bit, but I think it'll do fairly well. And they don't have natural like the 10 and 12 do. So that's why they're being recorded in flat, because I want everything to sort of look close to each other. Obviously, the Sony is recording in auto, so it's going to pick up what it picks up. I just I happen to like how that camera looks out of the box. Uh, but this road is pretty fun to ride here in Montgomery County, Maryland. And it's a cut through to another road that I wanted to ride, which I might do a time lapse on. Yeah. And at some point in this video, I will work in five camera angles on screen at once even though the last time I did it with four, it brought my computer to its knees and I crashed Resolve a couple of times trying to fiddle fart around with it. <laughs> I think I was adding Dehancer to it, but I don't remember. It's been a while. And this is so much fun. Oh, I love it. It is expensive, but I think it's well worth it. I get to try all these camera angles at one time. Bingo, bango, bongo, Bob's your uncle all the angles all at once <laughs> and luckily the nine is staying still i mean i ran out of mounts you know i have sticky mounts and stuff like that and ball cap and magnet mounts but for things that i was willing to put on a motorbike i ran out i mean i've got the insta 360 selfie stick here with the max on it i got the jaws clamp with the 10 on it i've got the nine on the large bar mount from gopro and yeah go ahead and pull out it's okay i'll slow down yep we're all good yep jackass anyway moving on the nine is on a large bar mount which doesn't quite tighten down enough for even the one and a quarter inch harley touring engine guard bars whatever they're called but the hero eight is on a small bar mount hold on easy through the corner Whee. like i said the eight is on a small bar mount and that gets nice and tight on what I think is a three quarter inch bar, whatever it is, on the saddlebag guards. So that mount I've used before, probably not this low, but the other ones, some of them are kind of new. The jaws clamp I used once or twice like this, and it works out well. The trick of it is to know what you're doing with your mounts and your, your cameras. So I spent a little bit of time prior to the ride getting everything set up, making sure everything was paired, getting everything going, you know, all the mounts and everything. And then I came out for this ride. Now let's skip to another road.
think five cameras while doing 40 miles an hour with uh, the horn honk method. Let's find out. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. <laughs> oh man, this is so much fun. And if you guessed that we would be getting onto Hipsley Mill Road, and I think there might be a spot on my Hero Max lens. Anyway, uh, if you guessed it, yeah, there it is, Hipsley Mill Road. If you guessed that we'd be there, give yourself 10 internet points today. You are a winner. That's a big truck. Let's go. Now, we talked about mounts and we talked about settings and we talked a little bit about editing and syncing and all that stuff. So why would I add this road in? Because it's one of my new favorite roads to ride. I don't know why I had to pause there, but we're rolling with it. What's a big log? Whoa, Walnut hit the front of the bike. Good gracious. <laughs> we're dodging and weaving and ducking and jiving and everything else today. But really, it's walnut season, so I should have my visor down, probably. Anyway, I just wanted to see what this looked like from five different camera angles. Whee, let's go around the corner, nice and easy. There we go, look at that. Oh, like a boss, like a boss. Oh, what a beautiful day here in October. It's like 80 degrees out, 82, the bike says and it is a wonderful time to be alive you're watching this in november or december and hopefully they have fixed the remote issue by the time this goes live i certainly hope so because i've had to leave the cameras on the whole time did not want to turn them off but luckily my batteries are all in pretty good nick so they don't have any real issues with longevity hello look at that oh yeah going out for a walk with the kiddo what a beautiful thing I wouldn't do it on this road, that's not for me. I prefer a sidewalk, especially with a toddler. Toddlers don't walk straight. They're kind of like little tiny drunk people. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a great day. And the leaves are starting to change color as well. Now we're gonna have to raise up the max, baby, to the max. No, I'm not raising it up four feet. That's just gonna bonk me on the head. Don't try that at home. I are a trained professional. That, and I'm kind of crazy. We go around the corner. I bet that's a wild view from the 360. Am I right? I know you're, the field of view from the 12 is sort of obstructed, but luckily we have plenty of other camera angles to show you as like narrowly avoid, good gracious, all the debris on the roads. And I'm not gonna adjust that camera anymore except straight down. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. Maybe a little bit up. I don't know. Yeah, you're up there. I'm down here. We were having fun. Let's drink some coffee. Like an octopus. Octopus? Octopus. Jeez, words fail me. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. Corner. Go around the corners. One-handed, don't show my wife. She would not approve. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let's get serious for a minute. That good thing too, there are tree limbs everywhere. Man, oh man. What a fun time though. This is great. Ah, oh, I love it. And I can show you whatever's to the sides of here for once. It's a creek. Yay, we caught a creek. Is that the place I normally stop at? I know, I never remember. My memory is so shot. Oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? Can drinking too much coffee cause memory loss? I wonder. A little more stable down there. Gotta have it stable, baby. Yeah, it wobbles a lot when you fully extend all the sections of the selfie stick. Wobbles quite a bit. The footage, I have to say, you know, people badmouth GoPro, me included, me included, we badmouth GoPro for reliability issues, but name another action camera company that has a remote that works with five different cameras. They're all different generations and 
reliably works them ish minus the 12 okay i'll give you that but these cameras do so much in a tiny package all these little settings and all these little doohickeys on it that make the image better i mean name another company that's doing as good a job as gopro hey this is the corner that usually gets me which means we're coming up on my turnoff spot yeah Wee <laughs>